Welcome to Board Game Casual Design Diaries, a series focused on content for aspiring board game designers and things I'm working on and building as a designer myself. In today's episode, I thought I'd show how I made the Game Night Championship belt, which I showed in the top five over the top Game Night accessories video. A lot of people have been asking me about it. I'll also talk about what I'd do differently if I were to make it over today. To me, there's no better way to spice up a competitive game night than with a championship belt. Whether you're adhering to a strict title legacy from game night to game night, putting together a tournament, or just draping it over the shoulder of whoever wins the next game, it always livens up a party the minute it comes out, it makes a great photo op, and suddenly your friends are cutting promos and smack talking each other. There's a lot of different places to get custom or semi-custom championship belts made, and they also come in a range of varying quality and price. I decided to go partially DIY by using the blank championship belt from Undisputed Belts. Now, Undisputed Belts sell some stock belts, but they primarily focus on making custom etched belts at a pretty affordable price. So that's certainly an easy way to go. You can send them an image and they'll print a belt for you. However, I personally don't really like the etched look. They seem hard to read and the belts are printed on these thin plates. So as a whole, they look kind of flat and don't have a lot of depth. The blank belt they were selling caught my eye because it was slightly different from the etched belts they were selling. I noticed that it came with thicker plates and each plate had a raised lip around the edges, which I just thought added some dimension and bulkiness. And in person, I wasn't wrong. The belt feels substantial and at least to me is what a beefy championship belt should look and feel like. If I had one complaint, I don't really like how much the front plate curves from top to bottom. It can sometimes give kind of a pregnant look when wearing it. Maybe it's just my imagination. I just wish they stuck to the left to right curve only. That said, it looks great over the shoulder. The blank belt gives you a lot of freedom in making it into anything you want. You could actually draw on this thing with Sharpies or dry erase markers if you wanted to. My plan, however, was to draft a design, which I could then have made into vinyl decals, and stick them onto the belt. The cool thing about this method is that you can always peel off the stickers and create some new ones if you ever wanted to change it up or repurpose the belt for something else. I did all my designing in Inkscape and based it on a template I got from Undisputed Belts for one of their similarly shaped etched belts. And I just double checked the measurements on the blank belt and built in some buffer to account for the lip on each plate of the blank belt. I went through a lot of different designs, ultimately decided on one I liked, and found a place online that custom cut the decals. You can see all the nods to Settlers of Catan in the design, which is an ode to the game that really got me into the board game hobby. I always liked the look of championship belts that had chrome lettering on top of a gold background, so I had my decals cut from chrome vinyl. In hindsight, however, being that both the decals and the belt itself have mirror finishes, there just isn't enough contrast. I wish I had gone with more of a metallic silver or even a gloss black instead. That would make the design pop more. So if you're planning to make something similar, I don't recommend mirror on mirror. Make sure you use a vinyl with more contrast from the mirror gold. The last thing I would do differently is figure out how to better deal with the complex curve of the main plate. Because it curves both vertically and horizontally, it's a little hard to apply one big decal without it bunching up in parts. I think it would probably be better to cut it into logical sections and apply each piece separately. I also wonder if it's possible to get thicker cut decals somehow. I bet if they were one to two millimeters thick, it would further help give the belt more depth. Over time, the belt's taken a beating, as you can see, so it's probably time to redo the decals anyway. But I've got plans to replace this with something a little nicer and a little more custom in the future. So there you have it. That's how I made my Game Night Championship belt, in case you're interested in making something similar. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time, here on Board Game Casual.